Hey YouTubers, I'm back with another video here. Uh, I've had several requests to explain my homemade fire alarm system in more detail, which I'm going to try to do for you right now. I'm going to start with the schematic here, my hand-drawn schematic, because it's, I think, the best that will come up on video. Basically, what you have here is you have three different circuits. If you draw an imaginary line here, an imaginary line here, each of these performs a separate function. This right here is the 4001 chip. This is the latching circuit. This is what makes it turn on and then stay on even if you reset the uh, pull switch. And then you have to press another button to turn it on. So basically it just switches back and forth between modes. This right here is the delay circuit, which is the, really the, the most useless part. The only reason I put it in there is because I've heard uh, Simplex 4001s go off and there always seems to be a two second delay before they go off, so I incorporated that. It's simply a 555 timer in uh, is what's called a monostable multivibrator, which means it a one shot. It goes off once and that's it. So it, it counts up to a second or two and then it activates this one. This is the 555 pulse circuit. It's actually a 556 timer, which is two 555s put together. That's all I had. I just used one side of it. And uh, basically what happens is this just pulses. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, depending on the diodes, capacitors, and resistors you use, that's what activates the alarm. And I will come back with another video to explain it on the board itself.